going on guys? So today's our last day in Tarmino on the beach city, you could say. As you guys already know, we did the horseback riding, uh, we did ATVing, uh, we did a little bit of surfing, we didn't show that, but um, really cool city, um, lots of tourists, um, and we really enjoyed it here. And we are now on off to- The Volcanoes. Arena Volcano, that's where we're going to next. And we're gonna be doing some canyoning there, some mountaineering, um, but before we head right there, we're actually gonna go to a waterfall first. Uh, so waterfall number two. Um, and we'll see what that looks like. So we're on our way to the waterfall right now, uh, walking through the jungle. It's a 30 minute uh, trek yeah, it's a from chilly outside, the parking lot, I guess, to the jungle. Mm -hmm. And like she said, it's a little bit chilly outside and humid. Uh, it seems like it rains here a lot. Well, I guess it is like a, a jungle, so a rainforest, yeah. so it's gonna rain. But let's hope to see some pumas and some cool stuff. We just ran into some poop along the pathway, and that's some pretty big poop. I'm hoping it's horse poop. And uh, that jaguar I was wishing for before doesn't actually come true. Uh, sprints up these steps. Good training. What? So we made it to the Rio Celeste Whoa. waterfall. How beautiful! It's actually that blue. It looks amazing. Yeah, this it's is actually quite it. amazing. So beautiful. So we actually can't swim in this waterfall because it's so blue because of a, a chemical reaction. They don't want, obviously, anyone, humans to like mess that up. Um, it's just natural beauty, you know, and uh, how can you blame them? So the water is so blue because all the water is from the volcano and the ashes from the volcano is making it this aqua blue. What you see on the camera is what we're actually seeing in real life. There's no filter or edits yeah. behind any of it. Hey, look. What? what? Same color. Oh, yeah, your eyes and water <laughs> are the same color. Yeah. But this is about where it stops. Those are the stairs we came from. As you said before, there are volcanic ashes coming down there, uh, making it blue. So uh, we wish we could swim in it, of course, but we've got to preserve its natural beauty. See you, waterfall. So we're coming up on the volcano, not actually going to it, but just driving by it so you'll really be able to see it. Yeah, this is the first time we could actually see it because it's been so cloudy and like uh, fog and mist all over the place. So we're gonna show you right now. This is okay, so here's the volcano. We got a little closer to it and we're almost back at our hotel. It is massive. It actually looks like a ring at the top, almost like if there was like smoke coming from the volcano. I don't know much about volcanoes, so I'm not sure if that's actually smoke. It's probably just clouds, but you can see how it almost like domes out at the top, which is super duper cool. Right. So me and Chelsea are here at a chocolate tour. Um, so chocolate's derived from a seed or I guess a plant called cacao. Um, <clears throat> These seeds are the original derivative of chocolate and they're mainly grown in Central America and Africa. 70% uh, of these seeds are sold from Africa, but they're very low quality. However, they produce them at the cheapest price. But in Central America, they have some of the highest quality cacaos, which as can be seen right here. Another thing is that there's a lot of mix between the different cacaos. So this is all like a hybrid form and that's why the one over there is purple and this one's yellow. So this is their greenhouse. So once they've cracked open that big seed that you guys saw, these little seeds come out um, and they dry these seeds out in here. And this is a single seed. So four of these seeds make a Snickers bar. Okay. So guys, uh, without sugar, there's no chocolate. So you're gonna go ahead and add some sugar to this, mix it together, make sure it goes into a very high tech machine. And then this beautiful young lady is gonna help us by working on this to begin the, the grinding part, okay? Uh, this is the thing though. No, no. <laughs> now I'm making it hard. Okay, I'm strong. Yeah, I know you are. So here we go. So we're going to show you this. This is how we do it, okay?
So this is our hotel thermal spa for the public. There's pool one, pool two, and pool three, where Chelsea is right there. Let's make our way up there. We didn't get to recap off of videos from yesterday on the chocolate tour. So towards the end of the tour, uh, the tour guide allowed us to actually take, I guess what you call like chocolate goo, and have a bunch of ingredients like jalapenos, uh, pepper, salt, marshmallows, uh, tequila if you wanted to, rum, vanilla extract, and mix it with the chocolate and kind of create our own chocolate and taste it. So we made a few different flavors. Um, my particular favorite was definitely the hot pepper with salt. Um, yeah, so that wrapped up the coffee tour. And then this morning we actually woke up to go on a canyoning and rafting tour. All right guys, so we're getting ready for some canyoning in this weather. Uh, it's downpouring right now, but We've got canyoning and rafting scheduled for today. This should be really uh, sick with the rain and everything. Uh, Chelsea's pretty nervous. She's in the bathroom right now. Hopefully all goes well. Woo! Look up! I don't think they bite. What's up guys? Right now we are in the middle of the rainforest on our way to the hanging bridge. Uh, but so far we saw some anteaters. Hopefully we're gonna see a sloth, any other cool animals that are around the jungle. But the main attraction here is definitely the hanging bridge bridges. So these are exactly what they sound like. A bridge that is hanging very high up off the ground. Um, I imagine it's going to be foggy because this whole volcanic area is just very foggy and it is a rainforest. So you're not going to have beach sunshine weather here. The first yeah? hanging bridge. Wow. You feel the shake? Wow. We are at Hanging Bridge number one. So there are six of these hanging bridges throughout the Hanging Bridge Park. Uh, there is a waterfall somewhere around here, as you guys can see. Just take a look. The higher you go, the foggier it gets. And I know that's not a surprise, but look out there. You cannot see any trees, maybe just a shadow. Yeah, right out there, the all the way in the horizon. You can't see any trees. It's not the camera. That's how it is in real life, guys. You really cannot see anything past that line. All right, so above us, you can actually see some of the top of the canopy. Uh, some canopy facts coming at you. Canopies actually take 80% of the sunlight that comes down into the rainforest. Um, and this actually creates a really dark and humid environment for the lower layers. And you know, these plants have learned to adapt to that environment and now it's actually more optimal for them to be in this type of darkness. If you had to be any rainforest animal, what would it be? Hmm. 
I don't know why, but I feel like a mon a monkey. Yeah, I'd be a monkey. Yeah, definitely a monkey. Are you kidding? You're I was thinking a toucan to line. for a second, but then I forgot that there's monkeys. Or uh, what were those things we saw in the beginning? An anteater? Do you want to be an anteater? They're so cute, though. They <laughs> yeah, really but they're are. Cuteness I... level, them, monkeys would be... Monkeys is just a funner life. Yeah. Eating bananas, swinging vine to vine, <laughs> playing tricks. Sounds like my type of life. So we found a snake on the trail. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm sure it's fine, but I'm not I mean, you can't make any he's, guesses. He's making his way across slowly. Yeah. I guess just let him go. Wow, what are the odds of running into a snake? Yeah. Here he goes. They should get a sign, snake crossing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you, snake. The rainforest, ladies and gentlemen. This is the rainforest. Well, we are coming up on the last bridge now. Uh, hopefully there will be no more snakes from here on out. And let's get this last bridge done. And just like that, we're out of here. I don't want to leave. It's so beautiful. This was our private jacuzzi one from the volcano. Look. look, one last time. All of the water is directly pulled from the volcano, so that's why it's all naturally hot. Um, it's filled with minerals and it's amazing. Great for, for your skin, skin, supposedly. And that's all she wrote. So if you want to keep seeing more, like, subscribe, and uh, keep watching.